Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a PETG filament from IC3D. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a filament from IC3D and I'm quite familiar with this filament. I have a roll of it and I've been printing several things with it and I'm going to show you some of the things I, I did print earlier with this filament and also with this sample. But looking at the note, they say it's a PETG black filament and print temperature could be 240 to 270 degrees. And what I found with print temperature with this filament, you can really play around with the print temperature and get different strength characteristics and also surface finish. And I've done a series of videos with this filament with my brake tests and, and you can have a look at those filament. I also did a full review of this filament. But this prints with bed temperature up to 50 degrees and speed is not spe specified and fan speed should be low or off. And I also did a strength test review or test video with, with different fan speeds. But here they say that this filament is extruded in in-house in Ohio, USA. And they have strict standards for clearances and tolerances within the 0.05 millimeter, and and roundness is within 4%. And quality is top priority. And each spool is hand checked and packed with desiccant. And IC filament is exclusively tested with success on various of mainstream desktop 3D printers using various extruded designs and hot end. And this filament is also put through the paces in our own 3D printing service bureau, so they're using their own stuff. And you can have a look at uh, their filament at consumables.ic3dprinters.com and it's a, it's a US-based company and you can have, have a look at their website. But looking at the prints and the print quality, I was getting really good results. And here's my make coin in, in black and it's difficult to see but I'm getting really good definition in the in the letters and the surface finish is, is really good. It's very shiny and, and you can play around with the surface finish based on print temperature. You can get more matte finish if changing the temperature. And I was printing at 240 degrees and this is the results I was getting at that temperature. But this printed out without any issues. And here's a money cut model, also without any issues, and really good detail in, in every part of the model. And here on the back side, really smooth, smooth finish and, and no issues. Also the uh, Omnum model by Tessa, this one came out excellent. And you can see here in the back, it's really, really smooth and, and shiny. And, and no, no issues to, to speak of in this model. Also the, the artist model by Garrett, this one came out excellent, no stringing to speak of, it's maybe difficult to see because everything is black, <laughs> but it's, it's coming out excellent and, and no issues. And here's a very tough bridging and an overhang test and it's really long, long spans, <laughs> so you can see from my hand. <laughs> and this was giving me pretty good results, uh, a slight issue here in this end, but here in the overhang test it was giving me excellent results and, and here's a little bit of drooping in the longest span but for a patchy filament uh, bridging can be difficult but this filament is giving me excellent results um, here are two mechanical parts I already printed with this filament this is a, a fan shroud for my CR10 mosquito hot end design and those were two of the designs I purposed and those mechanical parts are ideal option for this filament and it was giving me excellent results so those parts are coming out excellent and, and they are printed out like this one is, is printed out like this on the bed so there's like a 45 degree overhangs over all, all around the models and it's coming out excellent and, and without any issues so this was my overview of, of the PETG from IC33. I've had excellent results with this filament and I've done a series of videos with this filament testing out print temperature and fan cooling speed and, and also a full review of this filament. 
and I will link to those videos in the video description so you can check those out but I was getting really good results and I'm really happy with this filament so if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and, and like and share and, and subscribe and all, all that but for now I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one